<clears throat> Yo guys, why is up? It's your boy Reed here. Welcome back to some happy dungeons. Now I'm gonna tell you guys the real reason the game is actually you no know, ending is shutting down. Well, the reason why everybody's here and you guys want to know is because they wasn't really making enough money to actually keep the game up. That's the reason why. But let me tell you some other stuff that I want to like sh explain to you guys, like share with. Shall we get started, guys? So pretty much, um, where should I begin with? Okay. So many months ago, everybody always remember that when there's like a new set or when they bring stuff into the game, like those items goes into the item shop. So like pretty much to get, you know, like free gear, all you need is basically rare metal, but people wasn't really like, you know, basically, um, they wasn't buying those stuff in the, uh, in the uh, happy uh, happy cards pack, like you need to buy happy jewels and buy the uh, set, and like they um, when the set is in a uh, happy cards, they actually removed it from the item shop because no one was actually buying it from the set. So then they actually removed the gear from the item shop, and everyone was actually pissed off because uh, freaking the moment they took that stuff from um, the uh, rare metal shop, you know, to actually get free gear by getting rare metals, that's when this game actually became fully pay to win. But the thing is, though, I said this bunches of times, but Toy Logic never listened. I've been with Toy Logic since like you know 2013, and then I actually stopped playing that game around 2017. Now we're gonna talk about happy cards, man, because this is where the bullcrap comes. Like you actually get fully scammed. Okay, so pretty much, whenever you spend twenty dollars in the game, you get like twenty, you get like two hundred jewels. That's actually twenty bucks. But whenever you gamble your jewels onto a, um, onto like a 200 jewels onto a 10 card pack, you, all right, it's say, um, let's see, where should I read this at? At least one <clears throat> epic or rare or better item are granted. You see, what doesn't make any sense is like, no one doesn't give a damn about these, uh, no one, oh, hold on, hold on, give me a second. No one don't really want an epic. They don't really want this. They want the they want the freaking legendary. But when you spend twenty dollars and do a car pack opening, I'm gonna do a car pack opening just to show you guys my point. You don't get legendary. You always get epic, and it just doesn't make sense. They they need to make the uh, the car pack opening like Happy Wars. I'm gonna actually show you that like in a second. But we're gonna do a car pack opening just to get to my point. And not only that, check this out. Appearance rate for each card. You get a 4% just to get a legendary. You get an 8% chance of getting epic. And you get an 88% chance to get the lamest thing ever. Epic rate, epic item rarity rare rate when purchasing a, a 10 card pack. 4% legendary and uh, 96%, you know, because like, I watched this Chinese dude. I don't really know what his YouTube name is, but... I remember he was trying to go after this one set and he spent like hundreds of dollars until he spent like, like his last 300 bucks into this game. He finally got, you know, a, a legendary. It took this man like so much money just to get a legendary. So in this point, I'm going to do a 200 card pack opening. And why is I'm actually expecting from this is to um, basically get no legendaries because RNG actually sucks. Let's see. It was this one. It's this one I actually want to do. All right. I'm expecting to not get a legendary from this card pack. If they made it to where you could get like three or four, le no, like three or four legendaries in the card pack opening, that. Oh my god! What? I wasn't expecting this! Bro! I never had this crazy luck before! I'm. Oh my god! Ambush reliever 7 demon. 
Bro, I wasn't expecting this. What the hell? Like, okay, okay, let me explain. When every single time when I do a car pack opening, like, this never happens. I swear to God, this never happens. You usually, you never get anything. The, the only thing you get is like, basically every single thing is like, it, it, it's, it's also, everything you get is basically crap. And you usually just get like a few epics. You never get legendaries. But bro, that's, that's crazy. Now they want to give me something. And that, that was 200, that was 20 bucks right there. Which pretty much, I never spend like barely no money. They they gave me this happy jewels and I just basically saved it up. But not only that, I'm going to be jumping. I'm going to be jumping on to um, Happy Wars. Just to basically show you how they money system works and they should have the same thing basically like it. But, but um, freaking, you know, whenever you do a happy car pack opening, happy carts. You should all you should like guarantee to get a legendary. Sometimes you don't really get anything. It's just complete bullcrap. This is the reason why no one barely spent money into this game because it's like you know a complete scam. But my RNG was just so crazy. Now we're gonna go to Happy Wars. Let's go, guys. All right, you guys. Now we on Happy Wars. Um. So before I actually start, you can actually you can actually like you know free to play this game like free to play, but it's actually you know a bit difficult. Like every single day, you know every single week, you could do your mission mode. You could get some uh, what you call use. You could get star fragments, and basically like a little happy tickets. And then like the next week, you can like redo the same routine. And not only that, uh, you can also do your co-op mode to get some like you know epic rewards. But the only two good thing is is the happy car free pass. And basically the uh, star fragments all together total you in like a single week including quick match You could get by like at least 12 star fragments or maybe 11 and you could get two happy card free pass If you just basically uh, just keep playing co-op or basically do the special games So anyways, we got that out the way. So now basically all right, so pretty much I show you guys my all right, um if you spend like 20 bucks in Happy Dungeon, you get a total of like 200, 240 jewels. I think it's 220. I can't remember, but I think it's 240 jewels. And you could open up 10 cards, you know, basically with those jewels. Now, if you spend 220 bucks on Happy Wars, you could do, you can open up by like a lease. I'm going to go with a total of about 13 or 14 packs. 13 out of 14. That's, how, that's, actually, that's actually, I can actually really say. And so, the car appearance in this one is pretty much, um, the rarity rate of the third car is pretty much is, um, 0% is normal, which is actually like, you know, the crappy ones, 93% uh, is premium, and 7% is a super premium. So let's say out of those, uh, out of that 20 bucks, you can open up 14 or 13 packs, you know. So I would say out of those 13, you can open up, you could get about, you could get your hands about like at least four or five. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna count happy time in it. So, anyways, <clears throat> during happy time, the parents rate are usually on the uh, first three, uh, the first two cards, and then on the on the last card, a chance of getting a super premium item is 100%. That's what Happy Dungeon should need to do. They should have made it to where like you are basically guaranteed to get some uh, freaking what you call it um a legendary. But legendaries, man, like, 20 bucks is a lot of money. And, like, when you spend 20 bucks on a 10 card pack, you are not guaranteed to get a legendary. You are very, you are not, like, you know, like, pretty much, whatchamacallit, freaking, you know, it, it just, it just sucks, man. So, pretty much, I'm gonna only use one happy car free pass. The first two, the first two items... You know, it's always crap. And then the last one, you get, like, a premium. I'm gonna open up one more. Because I... Because I, I'm getting lucky. Alright. So, anyways... <clears throat> 
whenever you're on happy time, you're basically you are you are you are always guaranteed to get a super premium. These are basically super premium. And when you get a super premium, get it to level 10. Like the, the uh, weapon is always like you know awakeable, so you can like evolve the weapon and stuff. But if happy time was actually just like happy dungeons, let's say that whenever you do a uh, happy time, let's say that um freaking whatchamacallit that you cannot like you have a 50 50 chance of getting a super premium or basic premium would you still want to do car packs opening if you are guaranteed to get premium hell no you are always guaranteed to basically um get a super premium not only that you can get like you know wherever you want if you want a warrior weapon you put a sticker on and you only get warrior stuff if you want a mage if you want a mage gear, you could just put, you know, um, a mage sticker on and basically freaking, whatchamacallit, um, you get mage gear. So, you want mage helmet, warrior helmet, clara helmet, you know, you got those stickers. But when you do a car pack opening for happy dungeons, you just get anything. They, like, let's say you want this warrior weapon, there, there's no way in hell you're gonna get it, bro. That's like a 5% chance. You're gonna get something else. But in this game, you get what you want. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop, drop, drop a like. If this video reached 30, 30 likes, I, I possibly, I would do a happy time. But I, I wanted to say my happy car passes, but then I, I just gambled too much. I basically, I used my free to play method to get happy cards and basically, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, happy star fragments. So this is like, but what I'm trying to say is they was to make it to like, you know, Happy Wars was to basically like, you know, make it to like H Happy Dungeons was to make it to like Happy Wars. Then the game could be so much better the uh, pay to win method. But other than that, it, it's just so much bullcrap because you don't, you do not get what you want. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like guys and peace out. Tell me guys your thoughts on this video. I still can't believe that uh, that car pack opening that that was that was insane.